An emotional and heated exchange between a convicted killer and the victim's family. WDRB Stefan Johnson tells us what the defendant said that outraged the family. That exchange happened at sentencing for Alexandra Gales. And as you're about to hear, both she and the victim's family had a lot to say before and after the sentence was handed down. 30-year-old Alexandra Gales did not say a word as she walked into a Clark County courtroom in handcuffs, shackles, and green jail-issued jumpsuit. I'm, I guess, disrespectful. That's what peed me off. But inside the courtroom, she had plenty to say. The way she took her out of our lives, it just don't sit right with me. Gales was convicted of stabbing 50-year-old Yolanda Moore to death at a Jeffersonville coin laundry in August of 2021. Never once has said sorry. In fact, during Tuesday's sentencing, Gills interrupted victim impact statements and even said, quote, I do not regret my actions, which angered the victim's family. I try to keep my composure and my cool, but it's just like she waited till I got up there to talk for her to want to start running her mouth. It is very sad and typically, you know, you wouldn't expect to hear that from someone who took the life of someone else. Gills called it self-defense, but prosecutors say it was cold-blooded murder and pushed for the maximum sentence. If there was ever a maximum sentence that needed to be ordered today, it was with Miss Gales. In the end, the judge agreed, handing down the maximum sentence. As I indicated today to the court, the lack of remorse at the scene, at the police station, at the trial, and then today, she has no remorse for what she did. And I think justice was served today by giving her the max sentence of 65 years. I'm okay with it, because 65 is like life over here, but it's still hard, because my mom's not coming back home. Gales will have to serve at least 75% of that sentence before she's eligible for parole, and that's nearly 50 years. With photojournalist Chad Kentliner, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.